So the planes I'll be showing in this video were actually built about a year ago for the same design class that I built this cardboard stick plane for, if you remember that video I posted a while back. If not, I'll post a link to it in the description. Anyways, the first of these planes is a flying wing glider built entirely from laser cut balsa and carbon tubing. It weighed 8 ounces and that includes the ballast I had to use to get the CG right. I covered the wing with solar film light, the same stuff I used on the solar plane. It even had a bit of dihedral, which might have done more bad than good. I did get this wing to fly a while back, but I didn't get any footage of it and it was always really unstable on the pitch axis. Even though it looked kinda nice, it was a total failure. The next plane was also a flying wing, but this one used balsa, carbon, and a few 3D printed parts. The entire fuselage section is even 3D printed out of powder, instead of a normal FDM print method. I was really pleased with how this build turned out. It's probably one of the most visually appealing planes I've ever made. And luckily, it wasn't just pretty, but it also flew really well. These were my initial glide tests. As you can see, it has a pretty decent glide slope. Here, I took it out to try and slope soar, but there was not enough wind. And here, there was definitely enough wind, and it slope soars beautifully. It would have been nice to have slightly larger control surfaces because you have to build up a lot of speed in order to get it to roll. And also, when I would go into a really fast dive, the control surfaces would flutter. But that's just because my servo linkages had a bit too much play. Other than that, it flew really well. The next plane is this carbon fiber slow stick type trainer that you probably remember from my FPV blue testing video. There's really nothing special about the fuselage. It has a 1200 kV 2826 motor with a 9 inch prop. The tail is 9mm Depron and it has two 9 gram servos for control. The wing on the other hand is pretty cool. The ribs are made from thin carbon fiber plate. They have a square cut out in the middle for a 10mm carbon spar that slides right in place. There are circular cutouts on the leading and trailing edges for 3mm carbon tubes. There's also a thin carbon strip on the bottom of the wing for adhering the covering film too. The blue spar connector in the center is actually 3D printed and it has a few degrees of dihedral. This makes it really easy to connect the wings with the fuselage. This plane flies decently well, but it definitely needs more dihedral, as it does only have a rudder and no aileron. When you get into a steep bank turn, it's really hard to get out. In order to offset the cost of having these carbon ribs made, I ordered a few more sets to sell. So, if you're interested in a set, just email me. You'll need to buy your own square 10mm carbon spar and 3mm carbon tubes elsewhere. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.